I started to realize that all the answers that they had been spoon feeding us were non answers. You know, um, the whole thing just wasn't making any sense. Um, I'd read passages in the Bible about rape and murder and torture and violence, all all supposed to be reconciled with this all loving, all wise, incredibly powerful being, and um, it it's it, it doesn't make sense. I, this ultimately led to my departure from the church, from religion, and from belief in divinity. Um, except for the fudge kind. I needed and expected more, and I, I don't think that was too much to ask from any sort of all-powerful being. My distancing from the church grew out of these empty answers and a slow realization that, you know, people are just going to do whatever people do, um, and they're going to attribute it to God or Satan or, you know, all kinds of stuff. Um, when your worldview is 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 colored by these palettes, it's um you know you, you broke your leg. Well, uh, Satan did it, or God is just testing you, or you got a raise. Well, yay, God is blessing you. Um, are you losing your faith? Well, don't let the devil in. You know it it. Well, people people do what they do uh, because of their own will. Um, that's just what people do. I actually began to uh, to question the validity of God based on my own logic and my own attempts at reasoning him. You know, I'd 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 sit and ponder things like, well, if if God is so powerful, then why can't he just get rid of Satan? You know, to start with, or uh, how could uh, an all-knowing being set up a situation like the Garden of Eden in the first place. Um, and why didn't God want Adam and Eve to have knowledge, knowledge of good and evil, or knowledge of anything? I mean, it, it, it doesn't make sense. It didn't make sense at that point. And um, you know, I, the, the whole God concept just it, it didn't seem as powerful. Uh, as it once did to me, I had really started to mature. Um, I I learned more. I I started studying other things like you know science and logic, and um, I listened to other points of view, and I read other fucking books. You know, I looked around instead of just uh, in my own little bubble, my own little world. Um, it's it's a big place out there guys you should you should uh should take a look i was just trying to make sense of something that in which no sense lies uh, like i mentioned before i I'd, I'd never really thought too much about religion or uh, anything like that i i was just trying to get through high school you know and figure out what i was going to do with my life like anyone at that stage really knows um, I had no knowledge of biblical history or the the, the factual stuff, and or any other religion. Um, you know, I was I was just raised in a small town with with a closed view of the world. When I did start to look at how other religions functioned, I. I saw the similarities, you know, and it, this strengthened my feelings of, of what I had thought was, was wrong with the way I was thinking, you know. Um, I have, I have bad memories of, of, of saying and doing really ridiculous things, and, uh, you know, some stuff really make me angry with myself, um. I even made one of my best friends break down and 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 in tears and just feel horrible about himself, uh, all because I believed that that uh, that I was righteous and and that uh, he should be too, and and I was worried about you know I, I didn't want him to suffer torments in hell. Um, 
we can both still laugh about that today, uh, thankfully. Like most deconverters, I had a period of time that I was basically a deist, you know. Uh, there just had to be something, uh, some sort of god. It, it Maybe it wasn't the god of the Bible, or the, this god, or that god, or maybe it was one that we hadn't that we didn't know or we couldn't know or we didn't figure out yet, you know, it was, but something, right, something. It, it was similar to, to how I thought before being saved that night at the Baptist church. Um, but since then I've, I've realized that this is just another non-answer, you know, uh, there's no need to postulate a reason uh, for which there is no evidence. I mean, we have a pretty good uh, understanding of of uh, how everything came to be, but I mean, yeah, there's still a lot of questions. There's a lot of gaps, and but just just filling in one of these gaps with with something and labeling it God is is not an answer. It's it's just pulling something out of your ass, and um, you know, it. I would I would much prefer nowadays to to. Uh, I'm 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 comfortable now saying I don't know. Uh, we don't know. Um, there, nobody knows right now. But the great thing about saying that that you don't know is that you can keep looking. You know, you have a you have a a mystery to solve. You you have a a goal. Um, if you just say, "Oh, God did it," then you're done. You know, it it shuts the question off right there. And you don't want to seek the answer. You don't need to seek the answer because you think you've already answered it. And um, it's it's a much more fulfilling experience now to to realize that um, everything we do know we've figured out by by first saying you know I I don't know and then looking for the answer in in a scientific way and. Um, that's just something that God can't do. I had remained a Christian for about four years, and uh, even though I'd made many friends and had a large group of people who claimed they loved me, um, I haven't heard from any of them since. I have eaten from the tree of knowledge, and knowledge is a dangerous thing to a theist.